What's up guys, Kevin Jones here, and I hope you guys are staying safe out there during these weird times. Uh, this quarantine that everyone is under is, is really hard right now, and I hope you guys are all staying safe and staying healthy. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about how you can actually get notified from Amazon when delivery windows are available. Today I had an issue where I wanted to order some groceries and I couldn't do it. So I want to tell you guys a tip that you can use to be notified when there's a delivery window available for Amazon Fresh and Amazon Whole Foods Delivery. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm sure you guys have seen this before if you guys are having issues. Um, basically, I've added something to my cart here and when I actually go to checkout, I'm getting an issue here where it says none available. So for today, tomorrow, or Tuesday, I've got no available shipping options. So it's very frustrating. Um, basically, you can come here and you can basically can keep refreshing this, constantly check every hour or so, um, but they tend to just fill up really quickly. So uh, the way you're gonna do this is, you're, obviously you're gonna need a Mac for this. Um, I'm using a Mac. Uh, the script only works on Mac. Uh, it uses script editor. And you're gonna need an Amazon account, of course. Uh, first, you're gonna download uh, the script that we're gonna use today. Um, I've already downloaded it here. It's in this folder. Um, it's called Delivery Window Finder Script. Uh, you're gonna need to download this. I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can click that to download it. And the first thing you're gonna to need to do is go into Safari, go to Preferences, and you're gonna make sure that you have this checkbox here that says Show Develop Menu in Menu Bar. Once you have that, uh, you'll see that there now is a Develop section here on the menu bar, and you're gonna to need to make sure that Allow JavaScript from Apple Events is checked. Once that's checked, uh, you can take the script here and you can right click on it and say open with script editor or you can just double click on it and it should open with script editor because it's a certain uh, function. Um, and basically this window is going to pop up and as long as you have the screen up here to where you're at the stage where you need to check out and there's no available windows, uh, all you need to do is click play. Uh, it's going to give you some step-by-step -step instructions here, um, just some disclaimers and, and instructions basically what I'm telling you now. So it's pretty foolproof. Um, we're just gonna click continue. And it's gonna ask us if we want to ignore out of stock or not. So you can either have it choose to wait or you can have it just immediately keep looking for slots. So we're just gonna say, okay, keep looking for slots no matter what. Um, then it's basically just gonna walk you through what I just told you where you need to enable the developer menu and then also enable allow JavaScript from Apple events. Um, all that's basically doing is allowing JavaScript can execute from an Apple event into directly into Safari. As you're going to need, obviously, you're going to need, going to, need to use Safari for this. And then you're going to click Done, and then it's going to ask you if you want a text uh, message. So you can text message if you want. Uh, for this, we're just going to say no because we're just going to use the speaker option. But there is that text menu option there, so let's say no. And it's going to ask you what delivery service you want. So if you're using Amazon Whole Foods then you're gonna choose Whole Foods. If you're using Amazon Fresh, you're gonna choose Amazon Fresh. So mine is with Amazon Fresh. And basically just hit continue for the last step. And the way it's, you know it's gonna work is it's gonna minimize a window down here. So you can see that it's actually running. And if we open up this window here, uh, we'll see that it's popped up a actual window that says there's no basically available slots. And it's gonna come in here automatically and start refreshing this. And the minute that one comes available, it's gonna be constantly searching for the results that come back from these windows and or from this window, and it's going to alert you. Um, so you're gonna to need to make sure you have your volume all the way up uh, or have set up the text messages. Uh, there you can see right now, it went ahead and it's gonna refresh automatically. So this will be able to know if it's working. And there it goes. It refreshed automatically, that's without me pressing anything. So that's it pretty much. Uh, so I hope this guys, I hope this helps you guys. And uh, if you guys like this video, hit like. If you wanna see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time.